As I was looking forward to upgrade to a new computer, I was going back and forth between some of the newer options available on the market. And one of the options that caught my attention was the new MacBook Pro 14-inch model with the M1 Pro processor, although I must confess that I was a little bit uh, worried that it was not going to be compatible with some of my current scanning devices, such as the Epson V550 and the Minolta Scan Dual 3, which is a scanner released by Minolta 20 years ago. I have been using the Epson V550 for a couple of years for 120 and 35 millimeter film scanning, and I have also been scanning with the Minolta Scandal 3 for 35 millimeter film when I need bigger scans or when I need things that are way more sharp. So far, my experience using both the Minolta Scandal 3 and the Epson V550 using this computer has been fantastic, although I had certain limitations at the beginning when I was trying to install them. And the problem is that some of the software that comes with both the scanners has either been phased out or it has not been maintained. So that led me to the decision that I needed to use some sort of third party software. I have been using Silverfast on Windows for a couple of years and I'm in love with this software. It has fantastic color negative film profiles that match very closely my experience with color darkroom printing using the RA4 color printing system developed by Kodak. Another reason why I personally prefer Silverfast over other software is because my scans tend to look sharper and also have less noise compared to other software that I have used in the past, particularly Epson Scan, which it has been phased out and I don't think it's even compatible with newer versions of Mac. For my Minolta Scandal 3 workflow, I personally love to use ViewScan. ViewScan is a fantastic piece of software that makes my scanner compatible with newer computers. You have to understand that the Minolta Scandal 3 was released 20 years ago, and considering that Minolta was sold to Sony in the mid-2000s, it is quite unlikely that I will be able to find drivers compatible with newer computers. Both Silverfast 9 and ViewScan are currently running natively on the Apple Silicon system, and that's incredibly useful because you're making sure that the scanning software is taking full advantage of this new technology. Whenever you scan at higher resolutions or when you're using higher color depths, you can benefit quite more from having a system that is natively compatible with these new technologies because it is going to take a better advantage of the performance that it provides. I usually find myself jumping between ViewScan and Silverfast, and I think both softwares are fantastic for different reasons. And depending on what I'm planning to do, I can use one or another. But I love Silverfast because it has fantastic color negative profiles. And when it comes to ViewScan, I love that it makes any older scanner compatible with any newer computer. I think it is very likely that you can still use older scanners from other manufacturers, such as the CoolScan line from Nikon, but it is not something that I have tested myself. Although I generally like to print my color images in the darkroom using the RI4 system, sometimes whenever I need to send images for an online magazine or when I need to do inject printing, I personally love to have my scanners accurately calibrated. And I think that's important because you're making sure that your scans are going to look just the way they look on your screen when you get them printed. I think it is fair to say that scanning options are limited nowadays. And considering that after the development of digital sensors, many manufacturers decided that it was no longer feasible or even worth it to invest research and development in new scanning technologies. In that sense, scanning technology has not evolved that much during the last 15 years. Now, some people think that if they get a faster computer, they're going to get faster scans, and that's not always a true. And the reason why this is not true is because, as I mentioned before, many research and development was basically stopped by the mid-2000s when digital sensor became a better technology and many photographers decided that it was no longer worth it for them to use film. If you're really interested in getting a faster scanner that is very color accurate, you should look into technologies like the Fuji Frontier, the Noritsu or the Paycon. 
Although these scanners can be a little bit tricky to work with because they're running on older technology and they're using proprietary software that might require a specific hardware or even software in order to run. In order to run some of these machines, it was necessary for some people to have some special training, not only to operate them, but also to install them. If you're not really very tech savvy, or if you're not a person who is very um, familiar with some of the older technologies, I would recommend to stay away from those scanners because it can be very challenging to get them to work. And it is not really common for these scanners to appear in sites such as eBay and they can also be very expensive. So if you're not looking for something that is incredibly fast, I think you should still consider some of the flatbeds that are currently available. I think that Silverfast is doing a fantastic job with Epson scanners and I am incredibly happy with the results that I have been getting from those flatbeds. What is your current scanning setup? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching and see you next time.